What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than ever, kill. And I'm back here on Destiny, and it is already April. Can you guys believe that? Time is fucking flying. In fact, it's going by so fast that tomorrow's visit from Jure is gonna mark week number 31 of Destiny. God damn. Damn. <laughs> but that also means that we are getting closer and closer to the release of Destiny's next expansion, The House of Wolves, which was supposed to be out by now, but ended up being delayed just a little bit longer. <laughs> and uh, that, that's what I wanted to talk about today, because it, it's, it's no secret in a Destiny community that a lot of people are getting real antsy, real impatient, real itchy, real tasty <laughs> for this new expansion. People are looking for new content, but not just new content. They want new experiences. And as awesome as the Dark Below DLC was, it didn't really give us any new experiences inside of Destiny. I mean, sure, there is some new guns, a few new Eris missions, but uh, Crota's End was really, you know, the, the shining star of the Dark Below DLC. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. I loved the Dark Below DLC, but uh, there's nothing inside of the Dark Below that actually changed our experience. The way we play Destiny, and I think that this is the reason that House of Wolves was pushed back. So, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. So, every now and then, as a YouTuber, we hear rumblings throughout the murmurs, if you will. <laughs> Just small, hushed rumors that every now and then, they seem like they could be true, but there just isn't enough information to go off of to make that leap of faith, to say, you know, this information is information that I want to put and catalog into a video and share with my community. Well, some of us, there, there are YouTubers out there that will make a video about every little bit of info they hear. GTA Ice to come, guys! <laughs> Which I, I don't even want to get into that. That's a whole nother story. But suffice it to say that most YouTubers are a bit leery with seeded information. So we just sit on this information and we wait until something a bit more tangible pops up. And that, that, that's where I'm at right now. I'm kind of at that limbo, you know, because if you remember, I made a video a long time ago in September and I was like, man, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be seeing the missing elemental subclass in a future expansion. Because for those of you guys that aren't very observational, you take a look, the Hunter is missing a Void subclass, the Warlock's missing Arc, and the Titan is missing a Fire subclass. And then after I made that video saying that there's going to be some uh, elemental subclasses in the future, another dude leaked some info that was really hard to stomach because it had absolutely no basis of fact. It was just a guy coming and be like, look guys, I got some information. And you're going to have to take me at face value for it. And, you know, on the internet, that's hard. Because it can all just be conjecture. And the information that was leaked was that the Titan's fire subclass was going to be called the Crusader. And he'd be able to form a huge solar Kamehameha for his, ah, you know, Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> just a pow! And be able to just, just fire some fire. All the way across the uh, level. And the Void Hunters class was supposed to be, you know, more of a teamwork type of class called a Void Well that traps enemies inside of it and slows their movements and maybe discombobulates them a little bit. And then there was the Warlock subclass, which was supposedly called the Arc Thrower, where he throws a huge orb of lightning and it has electricity that arcs off to other enemies. And then the Dark Below came and went. And then countless jurors went by, we did the Iron Banner plenty of times, and all the rumors fell silent. No other information, other than the descriptions, could be found. Not even a picture of what the subclass icon looks like. Then, the closer and closer that we get to the House of Wolves being released, 
the more apparent that it was that the House of Wolves was going to be pushed back. And that's when the rumor mill started churning again. But this time, the rumor mill wasn't churning across the community, but rather it, it was churning through the small webs of networks forged through developers and the YouTubers. Because, you know, we talk to people. The people I talk to, they talk to people. The people that I talk to, they talk to their own people. And after they're done talking to their people, who their people have already talked to their people, and their people have already talked to their people, they come back and they say, oh, well, this is what my people said, and this is what my people said, and then the people, the people, the people, the people. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a huge chain across the community. And recently, there have been some small, hushed whispers around that said, Bungie pushed back house wolves. And I was like, well, that, that's... That's that's no big deal. We, we already knew the House of Wolves was most likely going to be pushed back because it was like February and we were supposed to get it in March and people were like, well, it doesn't look like it's coming out very, very soon anyway. But then there's been small whispers around that Bungie pushed back the House of Wolves to May not only to coincide with all the kids having all summer long to play Destiny, but also... Because the third subclass was finished, and Bungie decided to include them in the House of Wolves DLC because people were searching for new experiences in the first expansion, and they didn't get it. But if you think about it, this would be incredibly smart of Bungie to drop these subclasses early with the House of Wolves instead of holding it off for comic. So, li li listen to this. Not only will we have an all-new raid, submissions, and new weapons to grind out, but by adding a third subclass, it will allow everyone to experience all the activities in the game in a new way. So, a third elemental subclass would complete all player classes for the Nightfalls, bringing a new element of strategy for the uh, elemental burn modifiers that happened during the Nightfall. So, it would bring a totally new gameplay experience to the game for old activities. And I was like, oh, this sounds exciting! And it sounds smart, it sounds like something that Bungie would do. Then again, we still have no information to go off of. No pictures to even confirm a third subclass, and Bungie's lips are motherfucking sealed. Un until one of my subscribers came over here the other day, and he was like, Hey Mac, I was looking through the old trailers from uh, Destiny, and I, I found something. So I do want to say a big thank you to Seeker17, because he's found something that I haven't seen before. And you might have seen it. But I don't think you've actually seen it. <laughs> so, what he linked me to was one of the old trailers that starts off with the dude from Breaking Bad. He's talking about the strength of the pack of wolves. Yeah. <laughs> now, let, let's take a look at the clip that he showed me that so many people have overlooked. Tree trunk. The law. Well, let, let, let's go ahead and slow that down again. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go ahead, slow that down again, and freeze! That, my friends, is a warlock using what looks to be a supercharge that happens to be a huge orb of lightning that has arc and electricity bolts that look like they would arc off of enemies. So, now we have visual proof of one of the subclasses that was leaked earlier in Destiny's life cycle. And this, this visual proof is in a trailer talking about the strength of the wolf. And when you couple that with the previous leak being right about the Warlock's Arc Thrower, and you see what the content of the trailer was being shown, and the recent rumors of House of Wolves containing the third subclass to keep everyone happy over the summer? I think I have enough evidence now to fairly speculate that I'm pretty sure that we're going to be playing as new subclasses before this summer in the House of Wolves motherfucking DLC, and that is pretty exciting if you're a Destiny fan. Looking for a little bit new experience. Not just new things, 
new experiences. And that's, that's what it's all about. Now, I feel like Bungie is one of those developers that they like to throw a little bit of Easter eggs out there. And they, they like to get you thinking and looking through all the little clues that they left behind. And I, I really do feel like that... Uh, we might be seeing some new subclasses in House of Wolves. It makes sense because not only have they pushed House of Wolves back to coincide with the launch of Summer, but it would give kids a whole new way to play all the way up until the Comet DLC releases. And that, my friends, is going to be epic. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. We're going to have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, really comment, and subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Leave in the comment section down below. What the fuck do you think about this? You think, you think I'm just reaching? You think Mac is just pulling shit out of his asshole? Because he's got to go get tooth pulled today? No! I've actually been researching this for like the last like four or five days. And I'm, I'm fairly confident to say I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing some new subclasses this May. So, like I said, my name's Jay. We're going to have to kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later. Destroy it. 